before we get into how I spent $770 or did I save $770, time to work out first. All gas, no brakes, Team FC, www.tpositivem.com. Right, that was a good two hours of working out. Real quick, before we go, you know, always after I work out, I take Nutriverse. And so the biggest misconception on my website is that this is one drink for $49. That is correction. This is 30 day, 30 day supply. You, it's basically a teaspoon. You just pour it in there, take a cap full, and you're good to go. But I'm telling you, after about a two hour workout or even a 30 minute, 20 minute workout, this right here gives you that extra boost. Other than that, let's go get these shoes. Hold on. Before we go any further, if you like what you see and you like the content on my uh, channel, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Let's get back into it. These are the same thing. Let me try and see how good of a fit these are. Oh, yeah, these things fit pretty good. I already got the old ones that came. These are the old ones I have right here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to probably get these. Two pairs of these, one for training. Mr. Brandon, no. <laughs> Mr. Brandon is here helping me out. Say what's up, uh, Mr. Brandon. <laughs> He's gonna help me get all these expensive uh, shoes that we getting for cheap today. The Ultra Boost. I'm about to go to another running store, A6. Let's see what kind of shoes they got. What are these called? What are these called? Metarized. Are <laughs> oh, the metarized? Pretty dope, but I'm not gonna talk about it. He's gonna talk about it. Hey, yeah. how are you guys doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Kamala. This is the Meta Ride here. What's really great about this shoe, it's great for long distances and it can help you uh, really roll and move. It's extremely energy efficient. Um, when it was tested, it saved on average runners about 17 of their percent of their energy on their run. And the way it accomplishes this is first, this structure right here is nice and rigid mm -hmm. and it forces you to land on your heel first. And to support your heel, we have this layer of gel right here to absorb the shock. The material up top here is also nice and bouncy. It's called our flight foam. Uh, very lightweight, bouncy, and then as you move closer <laughs> to the edge here, this foam right here is different from this foam. It's called Flight Foam Propel. It's just a lighter weight model, more bouncier too. All that bounciness gets transferred to this rigid structure right here, and it really just forces you to roll. This rolling motion is really what saves you the energy, and it comes with this 3D guidance line to kind of center your balance more in the middle. Um, okay. The top fabric is the knitted fabric, one of our more durable knits, and okay. also very flexible. And the other shoe I want to talk to you about is if hey, you want to do a little lighter run, maybe not so long distance, you can switch it to your Gel DS trainer. Same knitted top, nice and flexible and durable. Um, it's also got flight foam on one side of the shoe, 
But for people who are a bit more flat-footed, we want something nice and firm underfoot. Something that will kind of prevent them from rolling inward as about 60% of people tend to do when they are flat-footed. That's the Dual Max here. It's a very firm foam. Okay. It, does, it resists compression and it just stays stable while you're running so that you know if you land on this side and roll this way the firm foam resists your roll and the softer foam on the outside catches you when you land you even got a ball of gel right here for your support all right all right all right guys we're back i've been going a few hours uh i spent about it looks like i spent about 770 dollars on shoes because there was a sale going on it's christmas and i went to the adidas outlet as well as the asics outlet so you know as when you go to the asics outlet or any type of outlet you will get shoes that are normally at Foot Locker more expensive, you'll get them cheaper here. So I drink my ISO tea. This is also on my website. It's for detoxification and getting all that stuff out your gut that shouldn't be in there. I actually feel more refreshed and more to get on with your day instead of sluggish from all the crap and the mess that you put in your body. All right, let's get into the shoe. Let me put my tea down real quick. All right, so the first one, as you were, you know I love Ultra Boost 19s. So these are my old Ultra Boost 19s. So you can see how they got about, I'd say about 400 miles on them. They, they, they pretty good and comfortable now and worn out, but I had to go get another pair. So boom, I got another pair right here. And I chose this color for one reason, one reason only is because I start running early in the morning and these are reflective shoes. I'm probably not gonna wear these out anywhere. So that's why I bought this pair, a more conservative type pair reason why I love these is because I have a, I'm a heel runner so basically you see how it curves in the middle and I don't know the specifics of it I just know why I like it so as me being a heel runner I hit with my heel and actually it curves up this way in the toe area and it has more pad here that's the way I feel and it helps me with a better run all right normally these shoes are 180 180 so I bought two pair if it was a regular shoe, um, a regular clothing store, or regular footlock, or anywhere like that, I would have had to pay, or not on Christmas, I would have had to pay 180 for both of them. And wrong. That means I would have left out of there paying about 360 plus dollars and some change. No. Both of them were $80, so I got two pair, $160, something like that. So it was a good steal for two pair, $160. Normally I would have left out of there paying. $360. All right, so let's move on to the next shoe. These are called Metal Rides. Metal, and these are 265. So not, I couldn't get a steal with these, but I put these on. And since I'm a heel runner, these actually forced me to go forward. I actually wanted to start taking out running in the store and run a couple miles as soon as I put these on because these are very comfortable. But we're going to try it out. I haven't ran it yet, so I'll give you the synopsis as soon as I run. Going about a four to five mile run. See how it feels. And also, since ASICS has a buy one, get one free sale, I got this shoe, JLDS Trainer 24s. And these are normally 145. And since I bought this shoe at 265, I got this $145 shoe. Cheap. Oh, I'm gonna say cheap. I'm gonna say free. Free cheap. All right, and these are actually pretty comfortable too. And when I look at shoes, or when I try on shoes, as far as running shoes for that matter, the first feeling and the first feeling of comfort I get is how I make my decision. So how does it feel? The first feeling I get is how I make my decision if I want this shoe or not. When it was all said and done, if I had to pay for everything that was full price, it would have been $770. And again, I didn't have to pay full price. So my actual price that I paid was $425. So I saved $345 today. So I didn't actually have to pay $770. So now we're gonna go over to the women's. For the questions you had about the running you just starting off, uh, Kamale is gonna help you out with that as well. Hey guys, so for the ladies who want a shoe that um, probably supports them, if you're flat footed out there, which a lot of ladies are, 60% are, so they'll have no shame in that. For something a bit more structured, you would want some, oh, sorry, something structured. So like a, like I was saying with the VS Gel trainers we were showing you earlier, the firm foam, something firm on the inside arch area is what's gonna help you out. So A6, we have the firm Duomax foam that kind of supports you. Uh, so things like the GT2000 or the Kyano would be helpful. 
But for my ladies out there, that 37% of the population or that 3% are a high arch, okay. you would want more so like a gel Nimbus 21. Uh, really soft material, something that absorbs impact versus uh, distributes it. Okay. Uh, something, and the flight foam on this is nice and bouncy. So for an energy efficient run, having really lightweight bouncy materials that absorb your uh, initial impact is going to be helpful. Um, you can also, get, instead of getting flight foam, you can get something a bit more gel, which I would just love to show you right over here. Excuse okay. me. This would be the uh, Gel Quantum 365. Yeah. See how it has all this gel surrounding it. It also yeah. comes in multiple colors. Yeah. And then we also have the Gel Kano 26 right here. Okay. Uh, this one has gel too on the other side, but this is a bit more supported. So if you're neutral or flat footed, this is the way to go. If you have really high arches, this may be more comfortable. All right, does that help you guys out? Yep. All right, I hope I answered all your questions today as far as running shoes. I know I had one question about um, getting into running and they're picking up and they love to run in endurance and what's a good running shoe. So I had the professionals at ASICS tell you exactly what type of shoe you might need. So just keep in mind, if you're just starting off um, and you see the prices on good running shoes, things of that nature, just remember you only have one pair of feet. So you take care of your feet. You only have one pair. All right, other than that, www.tpilotm.com, Team FC, all gas, no brakes, just shut up and go.